In this video, we will discuss how to figure out the pH of a salt solution. And it's important that some salts will be neutral, but some of them will actually react with water that'll give us a pH that's not at seven. So here's what we can figure out, is that um, neutral salts come from strong acids or anions uh, of strong acids and then strong base cations. So what you want to do, and I'm going to show you a shortcut and then I'll explain why, is you want to look at a salt. If they say, what's the pH of this salt solution? What they're going to say is, is it acidic, basic, or neutral? And um, they'll have to give you numbers if you actually figure out the pH. But what I can do is I can look at this iron 3 nitrate in example A, and I can see HNO3. Okay, so I see the HNO3. And that is a strong acid. And so what I know is that strong acids will give me neutral solutions. And here's why. If I have um, FeNO3 and I react it with um, water, what that'll do is in a double replacement reaction, I will get HNO3 plus FeOH3. And so this is a strong acid. And then a hydroxide would be a strong base. So they essentially neutralize each other. And so that's why it would be um, neutral. Okay. And so we can look at something without even writing the reaction and kind of figure that out. But you can always write the reaction if you need to. And so this FeNO3, um, I see HNO3, which I know is a strong acid, so I know that it's going to be neutral. In NaCl, I see HCl, which is a strong acid, so I know it's going to be neutral. And in NaBr, I see HBr, which is a strong acid, so I know it's going to be neutral. Again, we can prove it. HC or uh, NaCl plus HOH will give me HCl plus NaOH, and we get strong acid, and then we get strong base, so they're going to be neutral because both of them are strong. Now, to figure out something that does not come from a strong acid, what I know is I see HNO2 here, which is a weak acid, and so I know that this is going to be slightly basic, but let me prove why. I'm going to use the same method is I'm going to take FeNO2,3 plus HOH, and in a double replacement reaction, I'm going to get HNO2, which is um, a weak acid, plus FeOH3. And this is going to be a strong base, so it's going to be slightly basic. With uh, sodium acetate here, I see hc 2 h 30 or the weak acid. If I put a weak acid, um, or if I form a weak acid in water, then there's going to be a hydroxide, and I'll prove that. NaC2H3O2 plus HOH gives me HC2H3O2, which is a weak acid, but it also gives me sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. Okay, um, and so these are the two types of examples you tend to see. You are not likely to see acidic salt solutions on the AP test, but I'll give you the example that they commonly give, and that would be um, like ammonium chloride. And so what we could do is we could write NH4 <coughs> Cl plus HOH, and in this reaction, I'm going to get uh, HCl plus ammonium hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide is a base. HCl, we know that that's a strong acid. And this hydroxide is strong, but we have ammonium. Ammonium 
is slightly acidic. And so what ammonium will do is ammonium will actually dissociate and react with HOH and give us NH3 plus H3O plus one. And so this ammonium, not only does this react and give us HCl, which is a strong acid, but then the ammonium goes and reacts and gives us H3O plus one. So even though we do have a hydroxide and that is a, a base, we're overwhelmed by the amount of acid and so that makes it slightly acidic. I would not worry too much about acidic salt solutions for the AP test. I don't think that it's really worth uh, your time because it's probably not gonna show up and if it does, it's not gonna be um, a lot of points. So let's do some example problems with some math and you'll see that the math is going to be nothing that is too new. Okay, um, what we have is we have a solution of NAF and then we're given the Ka value of HF. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take NaF plus water. NaF is aqueous plus liquid water. That will produce uh, NaOH plus HF in just a double replacement reaction. And what I can do right now is I can see that this is going to be basic. So when it asks for the pH, I can predict that this should be basic. The reason I know is one, we produce a weak acid and we produce a strong base. And I'm gonna make a rice table because we wanna know the exact number. And NaF starts out at 0.3 minus x, 0 0.30 minus x. Water, of course, is going to be an x, sodium hydroxide plus x, x, HF plus x, and x. And then I get a K expression, and K is equal to NaOH, or hydroxide, HF, divided by NaF. And so the K that they give us, they give us a Ka, but if I look at my equilibrium expression or my reaction, I produce hydroxide. I don't actually produce um, H+, plus, so I need to use Kb. Okay, we need to use Kb. Because hydroxide is produced. So if you remember, Kw is equal to Ka times Kb. Um, Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. That equals uh, Ka, which we're given, 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4 times Kb, and Kb is equal to 1.39 times 10 to the minus 11, so now I can plug this in, x squared divided by 0 0.30 minus x, that equals 1.39 times 10 to the minus 11, and I can get rid of the minus x due to the 5% rule, and so when I solve for x, X is 2.04 times 10 to the minus six. I wanna get the pH, so if I take the negative log of this, pH equals negative log H plus, I can't use that because my X is for hydroxide. So what I need to do is just change this a little bit, make this pOH, OH minus one, and so now pOH equals minus log 2.04 times 10 to the minus 6. And when I take the negative log of that, I get a little bit less than 6 at 5.69, and that equals the pOH. If I take 14 minus the pOH, which is 5.69, I will get 8.31, which is equal to the pH and what I am trying to solve for here.